Welcome everybody. I'm Bill Russell, president of the Lake Norman Chamber of Commerce, and we have another one of our membership moments with our small businesses in Lake Norman. And we have Brooke McCraw, and she's with DBAT at Huntersville. We have William Burrell with Home Helpers here in Cornelius, and Chaz Churchwell with the Churchwell Agency, also here in Cornelius. But I think you have another location now in Wilmington. So Chaz, tell me a little bit about what types of services the Chaswell Agency offers in terms of insurance. Yeah, Churchwell Insurance Agency is a boutique insurance agency advisor. We offer uh, auto, home, umbrella insurance on personal lines along with your, your normal watercraft, motorcycle, um, RV. We do all of that stuff on personal lines, but we also do life insurance and we do small commercial. So we actually have uh, some really strong niche markets for the, uh, for the um, semi-trucks, owner-operators, 18-wheelers. We have uh, niche markets for restaurants that we are incredibly strong in. And then we have a, a really great niche market for the fitness industry. So whether it's a, a karate gym or if you've got an Orange Theory, a rock box, anything like that, we actually have the, uh, the best markets out there in the industry to be able to find. Most insurance agents, they don't even know where to place you for a, for a gym. And we have some really nicely tailored markets and access to this. And Jazz, Jazz, not only have you been successful here in Lake Norman, you've grown to Wilmington. Yeah. Got to work on that tan out at the beach a little bit, you know? <laughs> I hear you. Uh, uh, William, you have Marina also with you, Marina Torres. And uh, I think she works there with you. Tell us a little bit about what Home Helpers is for people that might be unfamiliar with the product. Well, uh, Home Helpers is a home care agency where we take care of uh, the elderly or anyone that might be in need of assistance through like their daily activities that they can no longer do, like bathing or remembering to take their medication, maybe taking them to doctor appointments, uh, doing a little bit of house clean, uh, housekeeping, um, what else you can think of? Well, one thing we one thing we got to keep in mind too is we're non medical, which means you know our caregivers are not skilled to the point where we have skilled clients. So it's more of companionship, things that you would do like for your grandparents if you're taking care of them, and what Will says, just general ADLS with assistance with live daily living, which means you know like dressing, grooming. Um, shopping, doctor's appointments, some of the things Will just said. And William, I see in the background, you have your grandmother and there's a special story there. You want to you wanna share that? Yes, my grandmother, um, for most of her life, used to take care of people. She was actually almost like a home health aide herself. And then later on in the years, she actually ended up relying on the same people that she used to, you know, she, was, she was once was to someone else for about nine years. And uh, she lived to 92 years old on her own, independent, with the help of what services that we perform. So this business is like me giving back to my grandmother. And I have actually dedicated this business to my grandmother. And all behind all my business cards is a picture of my grandmother. That's really nice. Um, Brooke, DBAT, tell us a little bit about what DBAT is. I know I've been there, I've enjoyed it, but for somebody unfamiliar, explain what DBAT is. Well, we're a, a one-stop shop for anybody that's in baseball, softball, or slow pitch. Um, we provide 12 different cages for anybody um, to either rent out or kind of just hit off of our pitching machines. Um, we provide lessons, camps, clinics. We're trying to get involved with all the little leagues locally to provide even at, like providing our growth to our coaches. A lot of people just get a dad or a mom to help and they don't necessarily have the greatest knowledge. So we're trying to provide information to our coaches. Um, anything that anybody at any level is welcome here. So that's kind of like what our, our thing is. Yeah, not only do you have the batting cages that you had, I, I saw that you had special instruction. You had uh, working one-on-one, -on -one. you had uh, some of the coaches working one-on-one -on -one with the hitters. You also yeah. had coaches working one-on-one -on -one with the pitching and they were actually on the mounds and throwing it and catching. Yes, sir. So we provide individual instruction, like you're saying. We're also starting up with um, small group classes. So to kind of work specifically with catchers or middle infielders to get their transitions quicker. Um, just 
very, very specific. And that's going to be generated more towards our high school age kids. And you mentioned um, the, uh, the some of the things that you guys are doing this summer. I put up uh, your website. Is that the best way for folks to contact uh, you at DBAT? Yes. Um, we have our website that should have all of our information. A lot of people call and we are able to book them as well over the phone. Mm -hmm. Uh, switching back to you, William, I, I've got your website up at Home Helpers. Would you say that the website, uh, Home Helpers of Lake Norman, is the best way to contact your business? Uh, yes, you can go right to the website. and The website has our actual phone number on there. And at the same time, I always try to say people can search us on Google. You should be able to find us online. On Facebook as well. As well as Facebook. Mm -hmm. And Chaz, I, I pulled up the uh, Churchwell Insurance Agency. Uh, Again, is that the best way to contact you uh, about your needs? Chaz, I think you on mute. There we go. Sorry, I muted myself so it wasn't a disruption. Uh, so I'll tell you that our website is an amazing way. If you actually uh, were to scroll down just a little bit or if you clicked on any of the buttons across the top, you'll see that you could request an instant quote right there on the left side. For, uh, for anything that you might need for personal lines insurance, you would find uh, you can, on, on any of those tabs right there, you can request a, a quote instantly if, uh, if it's most convenient for you. It's, a, it's gonna be mobile device compliant as well. Or just pick up the phone and call us. We're open nine to five, Monday through Friday, and we're thrilled for the opportunity to work hard protecting what our clients work hard building. So yeah, any way we can be a blessing. Um, Chas, something um, most folks may not know is uh, you were the very first chair of the Lake Norman Young Professionals group that we created here at the lake, and you were involved for a number of years. And by the way, they're, they're doing quite well and, and, and continuing to do some things, and uh, they got a service project that they recently helped out, Ada Jenkins. Uh, but for people who might be unfamiliar, explain what is the Young Professionals? Why did you get involved and, and what do they do? Yeah, so I've aged out. I'm not able to be in the group anymore. Um, but you're going to find basically if you're a professional that is uh, that's 40 years old or younger, then it's a phenomenal, phenomenal group of people that get together. Not only do they network and share ideas, but they have a, they have a passion to actually make the community better. So they wanna grow in the community and grow the community simultaneously. And so that was really, uh, that's really what I love about kind of the culture that we created whenever we were there. And I'm, I'm so fired up to hear that they're still going strong. Um, for me, I, I literally showed up, Bill, you had the, the vision of us to put something together and I showed up at the first meeting and then you and I sat down and talked afterward and somehow you were, uh, I don't, you were crazy enough to go ahead and, and put me in, in charge of getting the thing fired up and running. And we put a great team together around us. And, uh, and I will tell you that out of all of it, it was kind of building the culture and building the brand the first two years. And then I was excited that we got to hand off the reins to Shauna and then, and um, and some really cool stuff has happened out of that. I know Big Brother, Big Sister, or Big Day at the Lake has been a really big thing for us. Unfortunately, this last year that wasn't able to, to transpire. But um, but yeah, you'll find anybody that connects with the Lake Norman Young Professionals, you, you better the people around you, you get better yourself. And I, I really find that your business gets better out of it because you end up not just growing the casual, shallow, hey, how can I help you? How can you help me? and then maybe you never talk to each other again, um, you end up building more legit, deep, natural, organic relationships through the young professionals. I'm a big fan. And don't I recall, aren't you a, weren't you in the ministry? I was, yeah. I spent over a decade as a pastor before I got into insurance. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I'll tell you, uh, William, uh, you're, what you do is, is, is a ministry as well. I mean, working with uh, the seniors, how did you, I, I know you got into it because of your grandmother. Uh, how did how did you choose Lake Norman uh, for your particular business? Well, the reason why I said Lake Norman is actually in general why I said North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually from New Jersey and I worked in New York. So I'm actually from the health and fitness industry. I was a personal trainer. I was in the health and fitness um, industry where I actually had a radio show. 
And when my grandmother was alive, I told her that I was going to buy a gym, but I decided not to do that. I told her what I was going to do is to do something else. And one of her wishes were, if I go to North Carolina, she's going to come back with me. And I told her I would do that. But like I said, unfortunately, she didn't make it. She passed in 2015, but now I'm here. So I felt there's a reason to, to still do what I told her I was going to do. So I'm a man of my word. Carrying on her legacy. Yeah, it's Carrying on her legacy, I should say. It's funny, we have three people that are so recreationally involved. And, and, and Brooke, uh, share a little bit about your background. You tell me some of the things that you were involved with uh, athletically. Share a little bit about how you got into uh, your business and um, you know your, your background. Well, I've always been in softball. Um, started around four, played high school ball, very competitive in Southern California. Went and played at Cal State University, Long Beach for four years. Um, graduated there with my bachelor's degree in communications, which doesn't transpire to anything. So um, basically became a coach, loved it. Um, ended up meeting my husband playing professionally and he's, he's lived out here all his life. So I made the move from California to North Carolina, continued my coaching, um, was the head coach at Bellman Abbey College in Belmont. And when I had my two kids, I was ready to kind of stop coaching and kind of focus on them. Stay at home mom only lasted very little for me. I was ready to get back out of the house and I kind of went back to my roots. And be before moving out here, I had a pretty good following in Southern California um, doing lessons one on one. And so I've always known DBAT through playing professionally and just dealing with other different kind of franchises in the sports community. And I really love the owners, Kate and Kyle Griffiths. Um, I love their background. I love everything that they have to provide. And it's a family drawn franchise. And so I fell in love with their, I guess their product. And so I kind of bought in and ever since and COVID hit. So we were supposed to be open last year. So we got a little delayed on that, but I wouldn't have asked for a better opportunity. It's a great place, family oriented. We're supposed to have a parent's lounge, which is nothing but a kid's playroom. I keep adding, adding kids stuff and toys in there because I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old and just really want people to feel comfortable. Another, a place, a, a home away from home, especially for avid baseball and softball people and everyone has a family. Well, most everybody has a family and they just get to bring their kids and kind of interact at all levels, which is great. You can be a professional or you could just be somebody that wants to play recreational or have fun and come here instead of going somewhere else. And we've seen all those people come through our doors and that's, that's why I got into business. Yeah, Brooke, your, your facility is located sort of in the back of Commerce Station. And for anybody unfamiliar, if you're from Lake, around Lake Norman, and you see that very, very tall structure that you can see pretty much from throughout Lake Norman, sure. uh, that's Southwire. Uh, that's the yes, Southwire Tower. And um, that's the tower that, that you could actually, from the top of the tower, see all the way into Charlotte. So, uh, but cool. uh, very, very a great location for you and very easy to get to. Yeah, just don't listen to Google just yet because it stops you at the top of the, at the top of the hill. So just keep going. <laughs> now let me ask you a question. I, I know it's it's membership driven, but if I wanted to take Chaz out there and, and William and and challenge him to to get uh, to some of those seventy one uh, miles per hour fastballs. Oh yeah. Uh, can can you just come out today and and buy the you tokens? Can come out and just buy credits, and you get a little card. It's a swipe card, and you you keep it because if you don't use all your swings it just goes in your wallet or in your car and then the next time you come what you've paid for is yours so you don't lose it I, I see Chaz I don't know about William I, I, I know he can get around on a fastball but I'll tell you what I, I, I got around on a few of those 71 miles per hour a couple Saturdays back and I, I had a good time so I think we ought to go over there and try our place out I like it. if you come Chaz I'm going to pick your brain about insurance though I'd be honored for the opportunity. By the way, I used to live right off of the Eximino traffic circle by Hardy's. Okay, yeah. Really? That's obvious. I miss it so much. <laughs> uh, William, during the, um, the pandemic, uh, I know you, you recently got the, the business going here. Uh, did you have any small business loan? Did you take out a PPP to kind of get you through uh, the coronavirus? Actually, no. 
I did not. Um, fortunately, I w didn't need it at that time. Okay. And I believe since I fairly was new, I didn't qualify for it. Okay. Uh, but I believe and, the previous owner did do that. And certainly, Brooke, your business is a new business. Uh, did you guys take advantage of any kind of PPP or small business loan? We did not need to, thankfully, no. We were not... We weren't even having to pay bills yet. My my investor just kind of put a freeze on everything. And so no money was lost. Okay. Same question to you, Chaz. So I did. I did take PPP. Uh, so if you can imagine, I write a lot of insurance for gyms and for restaurants. Hmm. Our, uh, our commercial book got decimated. Yeah. Right. So uh, I in the month of... July, August, and September, I was literally giving back commission checks, hand over fist, back to carriers because clients were canceling, that we were having to do coverage reductions. Uh, I, I probably wrote $90,000 of commission checks back in, in a three and a half month span of time. So I got, I got it handed to me pretty hard uh, last summer. Um, but uh, back up and, and going now. Yeah. Well, I mean, we never quit going. It yeah. was uh, it, it was one of those things where literally as soon as they uh, they said go virtual, my team, I had already just kind of been the type of owner to where I let my employees work from home a couple of days a week so long as they're hitting their numbers. Uh, I always had the philosophy of as long as you're getting your stuff done, I don't care where you work from. You can be in the Bahamas for all I care. Um, so so for us, we were, we were set up pre-COVID to function virtually. Not a problem. Okay. Um, I want to ask you one more question, Chaz. Why, what, what can the Lake Norman Chamber of Commerce do to help your business? Yeah. Uh, for me, I would say that the biggest variable and the biggest hurdle that I have right now, as you can imagine, is the fact that a lot of people are, are hesitant to, uh, to take walk-in, cold call, if you will, type of uh, engagements from commercial. So the idea of me walking into a restaurant trying to connect with the owner right now, they were they were always going to be hesitant and timid, you know, like, because I do sales, so it's the idea of you got to get past a gatekeeper of sorts, right? Um, now, it's not just the, the traditional barriers that are there. Now you've got, hey, random guy, I don't know you, you might have coons. I mean, it's, so there's kind of this tainted element that a lot of people are saying, if I can't make money off of you, I really don't feel like putting that exposure out there. So, uh, so for us, and, and the fact that you got to wear a mask when you're walking into a lot of places, right? So uh, you walk in, they don't see your smile, they don't see who you are and your eyes and your character kind of all put together. So it's a, uh, it dampers the entire initial moment. Um, for me, the biggest thing is putting me in front of gem owners, putting me in front of people that, uh, that have transportation companies and putting me in front of people that own restaurants. Um, you, you do that on the business side and then lenders on the personal side, which obviously that can happen through the networking, but it's it's less likely to happen through the networking because a lot of times your business owners, they're not like for restaurants and for gyms, they're not typically at the mixers. They have some of their employees that come to the mixers directly for them as a marketing rep, things like that. So um, that type of top level connection is really for me as we try to rebuild and as, as gym owners, restaurant years, everything like that, try to really open back up and they're trying to say, let's give it another go. We're on the, we're on the brink of make it or break it kind of moment. Um, just being able to connect with them and say, hey, I'm here for you. I, I love the opportunity and I can do some things to strengthen your bottom line. Sure. Uh, Brooke, fairly new member of the Chamber of Commerce, uh, but we had your ribbon cutting a few, few Saturdays back. What's one thing that you think the Lake Norman Chamber of Commerce can do to, to help your business uh, continue to, to market and grow? Uh, definitely networking and word of mouth. That's really where the, our business is going to grow and flourish. It's just really the word of mouth. Um, we still get a lot of people coming in. It's like, I never heard about you until X, Y, and Z said something. And that's really where I'm seeing it pay off is the, net, the constant networking. Good.
good. And we got a networking event tonight, uh, Jane's funeral home at 530. And I hope, hope uh, y'all can make that. William, same question. Uh, what, what's one thing you think we can do to, to help your business? Is actually for us to attend a lot of the events that you might put on. And if anybody ever calls up asking any questions that you think we would be able to service, that would be great. Just to have more exposure. I've been happy well, so far since we've been members. Well, we want to thank uh, the, the three, uh, actually four of you for being involved today and, and uh, for, for being part of our spotlight. And we, we urge you to continue to support each other and uh, to, to buy local. Uh, the job that you save might end up being your own. So again, have a great weekend. Have a great uh, weekend at the lake. Thank, thank you very you. much. Bye.